guys, today I have the amazing, renowned pediatrician, Dr. Jen, with me. And out of every question I could possibly think of to ask you, I have this one. Got it. Blocked noses. I sometimes feel like an ape with my kids. I am so, like, picking and pulling, and when I see those green boogers, sorry for too much information, I just want to get them out. It drives me nuts. It's like I can't even look at them without getting them out, and I feel like they know it because I'm not looking at their eyes. I'm just constantly looking at their nose. It's so bad. So, I know there's this, you know, the sucking devices that people use to pull the boogers out. I tried it. I banned myself from it. Banned Excellent. it because it was way too addictive. And now I just do different types of things, but I really try and stop it. Should I be cleaning my kid's nose out all the time? Right. That's my question. No. Oh. You don't need to be doing I it. I, I'm, thinking about, I'm thinking about you, Rosie. Like you have four kids, right? And kids get between six to nine colds a year, right? Oh, so look how many colds and, and uh, right viruses yeah. are going around in your family. So someone's always got right. a runny nose. So I sympathize with you. But in general, like you don't really need to be sucking it out all the time. I mean, if they're okay breathing, you don't want to... You know, keep putting instruments up in their nose. It can, it can um, actually make their nose bleed. It can irritate them more. They're right. going to be really angry at you, too. Yes, right? So it's probably not necessary. Saline, on the other hand, can be very helpful. So just like it's saline is salt water, actually. Okay. Uh, you can squirt it up their nose. It actually will then make them sneeze, and then, like, a lot of boogers and snot come out. Huh. It makes them feel better. Sometimes they do, do then just swallow it, and, again, you know, it kind of comes out the other end. And that's right. okay, too. Um, steam, humidifier, that can also help to get some of the mucus out. And then you can just, you know, wipe it away. But okay. really, sticking things up there all the time, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Okay, then. So, along those lines, I've heard that there's a new device that you stick up somewhere else and suck out the farts. I'm just going to say, you suck out the gas, and then suddenly the baby feels better because it has less gas in them. Should I be, I mean, I was like, should I be doing this? Not really necessary. You know, I, in general, when we're talking about... Um, poops and peeing and farts and noses. You know, I think let nature take its course. That's a good idea. <laughs> From the expert. Follow me at Rosie Pope for more useful information or go to rosiepope.com and if you have ideas for videos you want me to make, just let me know.